some of it is asking questions. Um, and you do want to be careful of asking too many questions and because then you just turn into an interviewer or, or an interrogator. Um, but some of it is asking questions and specifically asking questions that are open-ended um, rather than leading or biased in some way. We don't always realize that we're doing that when we ask a question, but a lot of our questions are set up such that the person really only has a choice between yes or no <laughs> in their response, which isn't going to lead us very far. So if I ask you, um, hey, are you mad at me? I'm setting it up for you to respond yes or no. And maybe you'll expand a little bit on it, but maybe you won't. And so a better way to approach your question asking is to be more open-ended, to say something like, oh, hey, how are you feeling today? Um, so you're shifting from away from uh, questions that start with are, is, or do, and you're shifting towards questions that start with how and what instead. So that's, that's definitely one technique. Um, the other thing that I would recommend in conversation is just allowing it to breathe a little bit. And I think this actually helps with what you were mentioning of how do I not go overboard on my question asking? Um, many of us are, are allergic to the pause in conversation. So if someone stops talking, we feel like, well, now we have to fill the air. And we're really uncomfortable with the idea of silence of, oh, oh gosh, like we call it an awkward silence for a reason because we are uncomfortable. But silence doesn't necessarily mean all of the things that we often think it means. It doesn't necessarily mean the other person is bored or they don't understand us or they're not connecting with us. Um, and so we have to immediately jump in, you know, change the topic or reiterate our position or respond in some concrete way. Sometimes silence just means that the other person is taking a beat. They're thinking through their response, or they're even potentially gearing up to share something with you. Um, so maybe they're, they're working on something and they're working way towards something. If we dive in then, you know, we might completely derail that process. And so there's really something to be said for getting a little bit comfortable with these pauses and using them as an opportunity to instead observe and understand rather than, you know, move the conversation along and feel like, okay, I, I have to be responsible, you know, for how this conversation goes. 